Okay, just a little update here, uh, continuing on with uh, making this model fit or editing the case design which was submitted by the student. So you can see I'm starting over here. So this red component here, that's the actual internal components that need to fit within the case. And the blue component is the case itself. Now there are some design problems which I've been slowly fixing on this case. Um, one of them was uh, moving this back section back, cutting out some holes for uh, mounting screws, which the students didn't know about at the time, but I've added that. Um, I'll just rotate up. Also, there we need to create some clearance here because there are cooling pipes, and I'll show you those cooling pipes again. These are the cooling pipes here. So there needs to be some clearance on the corner of the case for those pipes. Um, basically, I've just shaved the sides off there. And if I position on the top view, you can see there's a bit of a gap now around the side. So it needs to be a bit of a gap. You can't make things too tight. Uh, obviously, here I need to uh, move that face back so there's a bit more gap there. Uh, that needs to be done. But what I want to show you is um, this section here. Now, you, I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually a spring that clips this fan onto the uh, heat sink uh, uh, fan, sorry, the blade assembly. Now, we need to have a gap in the case for this to slide down through. So that's what I'm doing here. So this little red protrusion represents the spring. Um, now, all I've done is I've basically drawn a line around that and I've um, extruded out a shape which you can't see now. Um, and then I have dragged that shape into the case and done an intersection of faces command. So basically I've gone tools, uh, sorry, I've um, right click selected the whole item like that. And I've done right click and I've done intersect faces with selection. And what that does is wherever there's a face, it calculates where those two faces intersect and it draws a line. Um, now, if I just click on that and hide that component and zoom in on that, you'll see a little bit more detail. Okay. So, now, the, the issue here is that um, the intersect faces does not, did not draw these vertical lines here. And if I just go to view uh, face style uh, x-ray, you'll see the internal detail. Now, I should point out that I've been gradually editing this. So this one is complete up the top here. These ones are partially complete. And this one down here is not complete. And you'll notice that there's a few lines missing. So once you've got it to X-ray view, you can basically click on those corners and put those lines in. Now, this is important because it, it creates internal faces. So then once I... Um, say select either a surface or a line, you can see now that the software knows that I'm just taking a piece out and there's no voids. If I didn't have that line in there, for example, if that line wasn't there, it would just be a void and that would cause problems when it comes to the 3D printing phase. Uh, now I could run that through Microsoft's uh, model repair uh, service, but it, it, sometimes it will just fill up everything, and that's not what you want either. So you've got to make a little bit of effort to just clear up that line work there. Um, so uh, so the uh, X-ray view is very good for that. Um, and I'll just stop that video there. Thank you.